Hello everyone. Welcome back to 37 Days of Prayer. Today is February the 5th and our Devo is titled God Interrupts. And the scripture for today is going to be found in Acts chapter 22 verses 6 through 8. We're going to take a look at an encounter with Jesus that changed everything. Let's read it together. As I was on the road approaching Damascus about noon, a very bright light from heaven suddenly shone down around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I asked. And the voice replied, I am Jesus, the Nazarene. You know, as we look at the life of Paul, his road to Damascus experience is known as the one that changed the course of his entire life. Paul went on to preach the same gospel he once persecuted after one glorious encounter. You know, God had a plan and a purpose for Paul before he was even born. So much so later on in scripture, Paul states that before he was born, God chose him and called him by his marvelous grace. So even when he was Saul, lost and on a mission to accomplish his own evil desires to persecute those who proclaim Jesus Christ, here in the scripture we see the depth and the evidence of the mercy and grace of God as he encountered Paul in this divine interruption that put him into the center of God's perfect will for his life. We should let this revelation comfort our hearts to know that no matter where we are at in our lives, whether we're on a mountaintop or a valley low or maybe even somewhere in the middle, God rich in mercy, love, and grace too deep for us to even comprehend will stop us right in the middle of our tracks and put us divinely in the center of His will for us. You know, as I read what Pastor Randy wrote for today, I quickly remembered my own life. I often wrestle with my circumstances not matching the destiny that I know God has for me, and I question whether I'm in God's will at all or if I'm somehow missing it. But I have to confidently trust that the same faithful God who encountered Paul is guiding my every step in his wisdom and in accordance to his will for me. And so maybe some of you watching have also found yourself in the mundane daily life, tired and weary in battle after battle, and you question, Lord, is this it? Is this really all you have for me? Because shouldn't this look different and shouldn't there be more? Well, I want to encourage you today to cease striving be still and know that he is God. The word of God says something profound. It says, make every effort to enter into the rest. You can operate from a place of divine rest by simply coming to seek him and sitting at his feet. You can know you don't have to understand everything and it doesn't have to look like what you thought it should. In fact, everything may be opposing the very word God has spoken to you, but as you surrender to him and trust him, no matter what it looks like, his plans and his purposes for you will prevail. Revelation 3.7 says, what he opens, no one can close, and what he closes, no one can open. My favorite part of this story is Paul wasn't looking for God or asking for this encounter. God met Paul right where he was in this ordained moment, and Paul left never the same again. He is El Roy, the God who sees you, and he will divinely interrupt you. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your word and the book of instruction it is to us that we can cling tightly to the life we need as necessary as the air that we breathe. Lord, I thank you that being rich in mercy and grace in your abounding love so deep for us that you would divinely interrupt our lives in accordance to your perfect will for us. I thank you that you hold everything in the palm of your hand and we can rest in knowing that the God who created everything cares for each of our lives. We surrender to you, Jesus. Have your way in us. We love you so much. It's in your beautiful name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.